Hi, hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game on my Lenovo Legion Go. The game is Horizon Forbidden West, which is a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Forbidden West was released yesterday, the 21st of March, 2024, and I'll be playing it. As you can see, I played a little bit of it already because it shows continue over there. Now, um, I also am using um, Radiance, AMD Radiance um, tool here to check for frames. Uh, most of my previous videos lacked that, and I wanted to make sure I can uh, provide that detailed information also. And so I'll go ahead and hit continue. Actually, before I hit continue, I also want to show you my the settings on my Lenovo Legion Go. And so as you can see, I'm playing on performance mode. And performance mode is not set to custom, so it's running on 20 watt TDP. As you can also see on here right now, GP is only using 15 watts. And if I go in game, it is going to push 20 watts. Okay, and game takes a while to load. When you initially boot up this game, one of the things you notice is that um, shaders are compiling and it might take a while. And so this is the game right here. And as you notice on here, on the top left, let's move up, move it closer to the screen so you guys can see. It's running at um, 43, 44 frames per second. I can also see the GPU power usage there, which is 20 watts. Okay, and so I'll break it down a little bit so you guys can see gameplay where I can play semi-decently while trying to make sure the camera remains focused. And so this is why I'm in the game right now. Actually, before I do anything else, I'll also like to show my settings in the game. And so I'll go ahead and tap that. I'll go into settings. And so with the settings here on the display here, you can see it's set to exclusive full screen at 12, 1280 by 800 aspect ratio of 16 by 10 which is the lenovo legion go screen and you can see my refresh rate is set to 60 hertz vsync is set to off and on the graphics here i also have it set to custom i was able to play the game comfortably well in medium settings even though with medium settings it was in the mid to high 30s but because I wanted to push into higher frame rates, that's why I went with custom, which is a mixture of both medium and low settings. And so right now, my settings is, is as follows. My texture quality is low. Texture filtering is two times antistrophic. Shadow quality is low. Screen place, um, space shadows is off. Ambient occlusion is SSAO. Screen space reflections is off. Level of detail is low. Hair quality is low. Crowd quality is low. Terrain quality is medium, water quality is low, cloud quality is low, translucency quality is set to default, parallax occlusion mapping is set to off, field of view is set to zero, depth of field is set to medium, bloom is on, motion blur is set to zero, and that's primarily because I do not like motion blur in my games, sharpness is set to seven, lens flare is on, virginette is on, Ratio, uh, radio blur is on, and chromatic aberration is also on. And those are the settings for graphical settings I have right now for the game. And the rest is just audio gamepad settings and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and resume so you guys can see the gameplay. And so I'll go ahead and search this borrower here. I can see the frames is actually in 52, 53 frames per second right now. And that's because of the custom settings I put on there. Like I said, you can play this game comfortably in medium to high, or uh, medium or even high settings in the 30 frames per second region. You know, in the mid to high 30s, if you're playing in medium with all the belts and whistles enabled. And so, like I said, I wanted to push more frames because I prefer more frames. That's why I'm playing 
in um, custom settings, which has a mixture of low and medium settings in it. And that's I'm able to push into the 50 frames per second for a much smoother gameplay. And so here, oh, I'm just picking up stuff right now in the environment. I can see even with the settings, the game looks pretty good. Okay, I'm s okay let's see. There we go. Just to go up there. How am I supposed to get up there? Let's try that again. Hmm. Okay, let's see the environment here. Am I missing something? I'm gonna scan. So there's nothing there. Okay, I'll go back up here. Oh, I see it now. go through there okay okay nothing else in this room here Is it saying there's something here still? Okay, it's up there. Okay, I think we can go up here. I guess I can't go that way anymore. That's that's a bummer. Oh. Nope, I can't go that way. Hmm. I cannot go that way. Let's see, will this work? Nope. Uh, this was the room I just came from, I think. Okay, that's that there. Oh, I got it. It's a data console. Nothing else here, okay. Oh, well, we're right past it. Increase the volume.
Okay. <clears throat> and that's... I'll go ahead and skip this. And that is Horizon Zero Dawn on the Lenovo Legion Go. Like I said, it runs pretty well. And you also have the option to go even higher in your graphical settings. Uh, you just have to deal with a little bit more, a little bit less frames to work with, or frames per second to work with. Okay, and that's it. And so with that, guys, um, Roby out. Peace.